A recent article in the Boston Globe highlights why medical malpractice victims need lawyers to help them. Hang on 10 seconds and I will tell you this story. Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino, a Florida medical malpractice attorney and author of A Guide to Florida Medical Malpractice Claims. This sad case highlights what medical malpractice insurance companies are all about in this country. A woman goes into Tufts University Hospital for a medical procedure on her back. Part of the procedure required the surgeon to inject a dye. The dye was ordered from the pharmacy, but the pharmacy was out of the dye typically used for the procedure. A substitute dye was brought into the operating room and the surgeon injects the dye. The dye provided by the pharmacy was not supposed to be used for spine procedures. The label said that it was not to be used intrathecally. That means by the spinal cord, in the spinal canal. The patient does poorly after the procedure and the doctor discovers that he used a dye that was not supposed to be used in or around the spinal cord. The doctor tells the patient and her family about the mistake. She dies shortly thereafter. Here you have a clear medical error with no excuse, a grieving family, and you know what the insurance company does? It sends the family a letter eight months later denying that the hospital, pharmacist, or doctor were negligent. That's right. In other words, they said, we did nothing wrong. So what did the family do? They filed a lawsuit. The Boston Globe became involved in the case and it eventually settled. It is stories like this that I hear pretty frequently in my practice. My question for you, wouldn't it have been easier for everybody involved for the medical malpractice insurance company to settle with the family before they had to file a lawsuit? I share this information with you so that you understand the landscape if you or your loved one is a victim of malpractice. Do you want to know the kicker? If this would have happened in Florida, it looks like the family would have received nothing because it appears that the children are not under 25 years old and the Globe article does not discuss a surviving spouse. If you have any questions about a Florida medical malpractice, you can always give me a call. I am Guy DiMartino, meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a nice day.